So in this box here is our brand new, to me, chainsaw. Um, you can see I got a little excited and opened it up a bit and looked at it. But we're going to pretend like I didn't do that and do an unboxing anyways. So let's get all that stuff out of here. And uh, it is a John Deere 50V chainsaw. Uh, the guy had it listed that it runs and I don't know that he said it cuts, but he said that there's rust in the fuel tank, which anybody who would be slightly mechanically inclined, um, I don't know if you can see it here, that red in there, that's, well, first of all, the fuel tank is made out of, or it's cast into the uh, aluminum casings, well, you just heard me say aluminum. Aluminum doesn't rust. That's a uh, coating they put in there, I'd assume, to keep the gas from reacting with the aluminum. But there it is. We got some other goodies with it, too. Um, we have a 16 inch barn chain. Probably not going to put that one on, just save it for something else. Uh, it's an Oregon, good quality. It's used, but you know the price is right. I think I paid a hundred dollars for all of it, which a running chainsaw, not too bad. Uh, and this is a 20-inch bar. This is the one that we're going to actually put on it. I got two chains with it. I was kind of looking at it before. It's one chain looks fairly new, actually. It looks like a full chisel. Oh no, it's a semi-chisel. Well, hold on here. I got one semi chisel and one full chisel chain here. The full chisel looks damn near brand new. And the semi chisel looks like it's seen some shit. We'll put the full chisel on because I don't plan on running it into the ground. But let's see if we can get this thing fired up. So, got our mixed gas and our highly approved uh, Arizona jug and our barn chain oil. Oh. I'm just, he, the guy shipped it dry, he drained all the fluids out of it. But we'll just, uh, that's going to be a fun hole to hit. Good thing I have this extra clean funnel here. I'll just put a little bit in, since we don't know if it actually runs. Okay, well while that's going, we'll uh, plop a little gas in here too. It's about half tank, so that should be plenty to pull it in. And I think that's almost all our water oil. There we go. At least they were nice and made the gas hole giant. Okay. I've not, I pulled it over, but. Not actually with fuel. It does have really, really good compression. Um, I guess a lot to throttle on. Choke. Back the other one here. There's no chain on there, so the clutch is just going. But, but that was promising. Do I need more throttle? More choke?
I probably need to adjust the uh, carburetor too on it. Well, so I got the 20 inch bar put on it and I did try cutting some wood. And uh, as I thought, that uh, chain is dull as, dull as a rock. So I'll try to put the 16 inch bar on. I've got a better chain for that one, I think. And uh, we'll see if we can get some cutting action going on.